From refusing knee surgery to redefining fitness. Not just your average personal trainer, Michael Abdullah, creator of Body by Michael, is transforming health by using a unique blend of movement, nutrition, and mindfulness. So, is he a game changer? Let's find out. I'm Edwina Bartholomew. Welcome to Game Changers. Body by Michael. Pretty self-explanatory, but Michael, tell us what is involved. It's really about simplifying what I feel like has been so uh, taken out of context in terms of the health and wellbeing industry. So it's been probably about probably seven to ten years of working with people's needs as opposed to what they, what I think they need. So it's not like having a PT that tells you what to do. It's about being a teacher and. and instructing people and giving them choices. Absolutely. I mean, if I gave you a 12 week program, so six weeks. I'd last weeks, about two weeks. Well, exactly <laughs> right. But, but six or 12 week programs indicate that hey, it's not sustainable and it's not practical. The reason why they refer to them as challenges is because it's a challenge and you're going to revert back to bad habits because we haven't changed anything. You haven't educated anyone. So if I give you a cut and paste program, you're going to look at it and think, okay, cool, I can do this for a couple of weeks. Placebo kicks in, you think, wow, I look amazing. But then reality kicks in and then you think, well, I really am not dropping this much. This is too much work. You sort of tend to want to give up. You've just told my life story, Mark. Have I? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I have this issue all the time. Most people walk in and say, hey, look, I know what I need to do. I need, just need to cut back on this, change my diet. I say, cool, if you know what to do, see you later. We focus on six main pillars to improve your overall health and well-being. Movement, nutrition, uh, breathing, hydration, sleep, and mindfulness. Once we start shifting that narrative and addressing those pillars, um, then we can improve your hormone balance. We actually can improve through mindfulness, our biology, and neurology, and neurochemistry, our physiology, um, even our genetic expression is equal to how we think, how we act, and how we feel. And that's pretty big to take in, but epigenetics says it's possible. So, so why not implement that into a program? I'm not talking about how strong you are and how many push-ups you can do. I'm talking about how functional you are, you know, how mobile you are. Because how can somebody work out properly if they can't function efficiently? One of the biggest blessings for me was that I was diagnosed with chronic arthritis of both my knees. Now, I didn't think so at the time, but I was in my early 20s, a reasonably fit guy with this debilitating condition. And I kept thinking to myself, well, if my knees feel this bad now, what would they feel like in the next 10, 20 or 30 years time? The irony to that is, is that now it is 20 years further on and my knees are 10 times stronger than they've ever been. Some prognosis back then in my 20s was invasive surgery. And I was like, man, I don't think so, Doc. And so that experience spurred me on and I wanted to prove him wrong. So I became a sponge for knowledge about the human body and the more I learned, the more I realised there was so much more that needed to be taught. And so then I began to develop that holistic approach to helping people attain their health and their well-being, but more so empowering them to do it for themselves. The incredibly frustrating thing about health and exercise is it is simple, isn't it? It is actually the basics, but we are continually looking for a complicated answer. We are. We've developed something I call the unconscious bias, where we all assume we know what we need. Oh, yeah, I just need to work out for hours at a time. It's not really... Uh, about the length or the duration of how much we work out or you know, how strict we can eat. It's really about a balance. The intention is to change the internal narrative from being about working out for hours at a time and eating less to being more about your physical, mental and emotional health. Most people put themselves in a predicament where they start to punish themselves before they have that slice of pizza. But once you know uh, how and when to do things and when you're empowered with knowledge and choice it changes the dynamic and your perception of having that slice of pizza because now you've earned the right to do so. When we use terminologies like cheat meals it already automatically indicates that we're doing something wrong. That's where that mental emotional part comes in but it's a lot deeper than that because if we knew it all then why is it that we live in an epidemic of obesity and disease at the moment and why is there so many issues and these man-made illnesses the fitness industry is flooded with apps and online programs and, and different faces and personalities. So what is it that makes Body by Michael so different? Most people treat or associate losing weight with it being a 50-50 partner between exercise and diet. But that's not the case. 
the exercise or movement is only 5%, you know, the nutrition is 95%, it does all the work, once you get that right, you actually don't need to work out. As long as you're active, uh, you do simple concepts. We got things where I teach people about doing the no workout workout. So instead of parking right in front of the front door of the shopping centre, park right at the back and walk to the front, you've already created a workout. No two people are alike, we're all individuals with individual needs. And I can't impose my health or my fit on you because we have different needs and requirements. It's intimidating walking to a gym. It's intimidating even signing up to something and say, hey, I need some help. But when you know that you have that freedom and that you can track your records and work out what works for you and what doesn't, and there's this sense of empowerment. You start to hold yourself a little different and you feel proud of yourself. I'm sitting at home on the couch. I want to change my life. How do I do it with Body by Michael? A lot of free content's given on our social media platforms, but we also have an app and a website and we've also released a book where we flip the self-help model on its head. With this book, we teach you the what's and the why so that the how gets easier. So you're teaching people life lessons, really? Basically, yeah. One person at a time. Truly, thanks. Thank Lovely you. to really meet nice you, Michael. Thank you.